Health authorities are preparing for a possible coronavirus pandemic as the disease spreads in a number of countries outside China. COVID-19 is being transmitted in countries including South Korea, Italy and Iran, and often among people who haven't been to China. Italy is now the centre of Europe's worst outbreak and has shut off whole towns and cancelled major events like the Venice Carnival. The financial capital, Milan, has also come to a standstill. More than 150 people have tested positive for the disease in Italy and three people have died. In the Middle East, Turkey and Pakistan have shut their borders to Iran because of a surge in cases there. Another 15 cases have been reported, taking the total to more than 40, and eight people have died. And Australia has raised its travel advice level for both Japan and South Korea. The president of South Korea has put the country on the highest possible alert after the number of cases jumped to more than 760 and the death toll rose to seven. It's now the worst outbreak outside China. North Asia correspondent Bill Bertels reports from South Korea. The outbreak in South Korea is threatening to spin out of control. Patients are admitted on stretchers into specially designated hospitals in Daegu, the country's fourth largest city. Outside, ambulances line up to be disinfected, each with a sick patient inside. The president raised the country's alert level so the government can lock down cities and restrict the movement of people. We are faced with a watershed moment in the case of the coronavirus. The coming few days will be a critical time for us. Half of South Korea's cases are linked to a secretive religious sect, the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. In its official videos, the church proudly shows off its quarter of a million members taking exams. The light of life will shine in the whole world. Worshippers sing songs with their arms around each other. South Korean health officials say this close proximity may have caused the infection to spread rapidly. It will become the light of life. The church in Daegu has become a target and was pelted with eggs as it shut down all 74 of its branches around the country. We sincerely ask citizens to stop hatred and baseless criticism towards our followers, who are the largest victims of the virus. The World Health Organization has warned the window to contain the outbreak of the virus outside of China is becoming more narrow. As the number of infections here increase, the pressure on South Korea's government to lock down cities and stop transport will only increase. Unlike Australia, Chinese citizens are still flying directly into the country. They're being screened, but many here say that's not enough. But with so many cases now in South Korea, containment rather than prevention is the focus. And North Asia correspondent Bill Bertels joins us now from the outbreak zone near Daegu. Bill, what's it like as you get closer to the city? Well, Juanita, we're in Gyeongbok province, which is the main focus for authorities here, not too far from Daegu. And in this area, it is very quiet. People who are on the streets are all wearing masks. And every few minutes, we get these emergency alerts coming through on the phones, telling us that someone who has been diagnosed with coronavirus was moving around this area or this district in recent days. Now, the mayor of Daegu today appealed for medical supplies or even medical personnel uh, to come to that city. This is an indication that he thinks the rapid buildup of cases here will continue. And I have to say, especially coming from China, even though there's now a red alert and the government can lock down roads and quarantine this province, driving down here from Seoul, it's all completely normal. The highway is open, the trains are going to and uh, from Daegu, and I think a lot of pressure will be building on South Korea's government in the coming days to actually enforce some of these new restrictions.